here at the Robbie D'Architeur Radio School or R -R -R Radio School. It's three hours. We are absolutely dedicated to producing the future stars of New Zealand radio. Caller number nine. And it's so important that they get the best industry training possible. And that is why I have gathered together the monsters of radio, the absolute best in the broadcasting world, to share their gifts with our students. So the key to any great radio program, the internet. Yeah, we just Google what did Hamish and Andy do, and then we do that a year later. Hmm? Smaller market. Aren't you worried about radio not being a visual medium? It's a what? All I can basically tell you is that when it comes to building a radio show, make sure that you choose your co-host wisely. Mm, like one with a husband who gets a little bit more game time. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, you won't believe it. It's unbelievable. I think the most important thing in radio is to establish who is who on the show. Obviously, this is Megan, I'm Fletch, and this is Vaughan. Fletch? That's Fletch. Wait, I'll close my eyes. Do the laugh. <laughs> Fletch. That was a trick and a That's, test. And Megan has just failed. How do you get ratings? Well, you can do what I did. You can come out on air. What if you're not gay? Well, who says I'm gay? You did, on air. Exactly, and who was number one that year in the radio survey? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. One of the really cool things about getting to do a uh, breakfast radio show is you get to do stunts for no real reason at all. You, front row, stripey shirt. Come on, come on up here. I'll demonstrate for you guys right now exactly what happened in this particular stunt that we did to show how awkward it is for two complete strangers hooking up for the very, for the very first time. So what we do is we make a joke that's not very good, but then we reference it's not very good. And then we just keep doing it even though it's not very good. Our method is keeping it pretty straight. News, current affairs, we lay off the, the heavy sexual gags. It's pretty much straight infotainment. Which gives us more time to double team Laura McGoldrick in the toilets during the air break. So the secret to our success is pretty much just copying whatever JJ, Mike and Dom do on a daily basis. Basically, just get naked at all times. No, 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 don't do that here in a classroom. You know, this is only my fullback job. Like, I'm really a pop star. Like, really? I'm really a pop star. This is just my fallback job. <sighs> just need all my artist benefit. I know, sweetie. I know. <laughs> that is just so funny. <laughs> and that's how you do it, okay? So your turn. You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was absolute shit. Absolute shit. It's, it's like this, okay? <laughs> if you want to have the best radio website in New Zealand, remember the formula. Tits equal hits. Huh. Oh. Well, I've got a show to host. Welcome to the New Zealand Radio Awards and your hosts for this evening, JJ Feeney and Kerry McIver. Jesus, I didn't even recognise you with your clothes on. I have seen oh. more of your freaking body this year than I've seen of my own, although my eyesight's not as good as it used to be, I have to say. At least you've covered your tits for the show. Fantastic. Well, you haven't, but... Um... I can do better. <laughs> well, it's only fair that I got them all out, that you should get yours out. I'll lift my hem. <laughs> Right, enough, enough, enough of the tit jokes. Thank you so much for coming out and a very warm welcome to everyone who's joining us by live streaming. It's fantastic. And just a little note that our Auckland audience is going to stay dry unless they've stockpiled like crazed bloody party pill people the night I, before. I warned a few people from uh, MediaWorks to uh, stock up. Yes, there may be hip flasks, but it will be dry here, so a good show is a fast show. We're going to crack through so that these voracious beasts can get back to the bar. Those of you who are watching around the country, you just top yourselves up whenever you like, sit back and enjoy. I want to say a big hi to everyone who's from out of town. Who have Yay. we got? Who have we got? Out of town is... Tapo! We've got Northland! We've got Tika Winnie! We've got Lovely Hamilton! And a very, very warm welcome to two very special guests. We've got Kristen Black here, who is Blackie's wife and still his wife. 
really. I'm not going to say widow because that's an ugly word. And we've got the lovely, lovely Reuben Holmes who's with us as well. So it's a very special pleasure to have two very special people with us today. Thank you for coming. So we're gathered here and this seems like more fun than it's been in previous years. There's, sometimes there's been too much fun and that's not been good and sometimes there's not enough fun and that's not good either. So we're hoping to have a Goldilocks of an evening just right. So we're gathered to find out who the very best of our industry is tonight. We are celebrating the best of the New Zealand radio industry and we are checking out the competition and celebrating the year that's been. We are beaming into stations and networks all over the country via the live webcast, so cheers to you guys. But this year it's just a little bit different. We're not pre-recorded. We are live. <laughs> Woo! What's the time? Time check? Can I get a time check? 5.08 p.m. There you go, there you go. Awesome. Yes, you have so. to remember when the mic is on, people. Always good to remember when the mic is on. Especially when you're in the bathroom. Especially when you're a lardo hip. Um, <laughs> all right, we have a huge show ahead of us, and if I may say so myself, a very tight frame. Um, so this year, we are going to announce the winners and give them a round of applause. Can we practice that? Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. It'll get better through the night. Exactly. So lots you, of hooting and hollering. We can whoop and cheer for every single one of your team, but we also want to see dignified losers. None of the snarling and Fuck them, I'm so much better than them. We want to see, you know, real applause because who knows, you might be working for the opposition one day. Welcome, Fletch, Vaughan and Megan. Um, <coughs> so, um, did you, when you were in the bathroom before, did you join the movement? I know, I didn't see join the movement, no. Oh, I had one. I know. Oh, yeah. Curry for lunch. God, those great, those crazy, crazy breakfast kids. I mean, we've got change, big changes in breakfast radio. You're yep. not feeling the cool breeze of change blowing up your skirts, are nah, you? No, it's fucking no, same old, okay, same old at the edge. No, you've got national radio changing their presenters. Oh, Jesus. Every 70 years, those mad crazy kids. <laughs> you've, got, you've got Fletch, Vaughan and me, and we've got lovely Polly and Grant over at The Hits. So, you yep. know. And, and the drive shows have changed. Guy, Sharon and Clint on the edge, and then Jono and Ben together on The Rock in the afternoon. And we've got the community radio stations who are making a huge impact. So it's a very exciting time to be in our industry. Now, the Premier Category Award winners will be invited on stage to accept their award and to get their trophies. You may do it in one of two ways. You may come up humbly, shucks, who would have thought, blushing a bit, you know, oh God, I'd never imagined. Or you can do it with your dick out, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, strut the strut, the strut go, oh, fuck, who else would it have been? You know, and then you can accept your award, okay? You, in the premier categories, you're allowed to say a few words. What is the key word in that sentence? Few words. Few. Because the longer you're up here banging on about how fabulous you are, how you're so thrilled that your mother and father had you all those years ago, <laughs> about how, you know, you couldn't have done it without the rest of the station, people are gasping for a drink, okay? So they will hate you. There will yeah. be malevolent waves of loathing coming at you. So if you do go on too long, you will be um, put into a JJ and Kerry sandwich and escorted <laughs> off. And you may not come out of it because you will suffocate. So <laughs> we need I don't think there's been this much boobage on stage at once in a radio awards, do you reckon? Yeah, when I was 10 <laughs> kilos heavier and I fronted it about five years ago. So yeah, no, there has been. So, no. <laughs> there has been. All right, so. I'm sorry that we can't have everybody do the speech, but you know, when you're a big grown up in the premier category, you just save your speech for them, okay? Right, and um, we're doing something a little bit different tonight. We're having a bit of interaction, and not just with you here in our live audience, but also everyone watching online around New Zealand. Uh, so, hi to everyone in Christchurch, and Wellington, Timaru, Masterton, Palmerston North, and wherever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, we've got a thing. We need you to participate tonight. So get your phones out, and you can send a hashtag, send a tweet, hashtag Radio Awards. And we have someone who is checking the tweets and sending them to us to read out throughout the evening. They and will be moderated. Yeah, and for those of you at um, National Radio and um, ZB, since you don't know how to use Twitter, you can send a text. Or a fax. Yeah, Facsimiles are very good. We still get the odd facsimile from listeners. <laughs> if you are texting, send your text with the keyword radio awards as one word, leave a space, tell us your funny thoughts or whatever, 
and send it to 3343, which does coincidentally spell edge. Does so, it? It does. That was cunning. If you were like on your... What a cunning just stunt Just for you to are. remember. Right. Um, I've got a couple of texts here, and I've only got oh. a couple, um, because my little thing's going round and round, but nothing's happening. But um, oh. so I've got one here, I've got a tweet. If somebody under 30 could come up and help Nana, that would be great. Um, Shane Cortez says, good luck to all my talented mates who rock chat the airways for today's radio awards. You remember Shane Cortez, you know, lovely Shane. Hello. Yes, have you got any texts? I have got one. It's actually a tweet that was okay. sent um, about four hours ago from a at JJ Feeney. Oh, wow. Yes. It says, okay, JJ, you can do this. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Hashtag well, radio awards. Thank you, JJ, for your tweet. Much appreciated. <laughs> well, we'll just see how we go, shall we? Time to start the show. <laughs> yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2014 New Zealand Radio Awards! Woo! So our first awards tonight are for outstanding community campaigns and that's where radio really comes into its own when it's working within the community. Tonight we celebrate the talent behind the best community campaigns. Outstanding community campaigns are generously, fabulously sponsored by the most benevolent and altruistic radio network. First up, best one-off community campaign and the finalists are... More Day 2013, More FM National. ZM's Breaking Into Christmas, ZM Network. Light It Up Huntley, ZM Network. And the first of our winners for tonight, ZM's Breaking Into Christmas, ZM Network. ZM's Breaking Into Christmas is back. We're going to show up with heaps of prezzies and food and make memories that the family will have forever. Of course, we're going to break in first. Oops. <laughs> Fantastic. Next... Best Extended Campaign or Contribution. And the finalists are... Times FM Rodney. 90... <laughs> Sorry. I preempted your clap, I do apologise. 92.2 More FM Manawatu. And More FM Dunedin. And the winner is... More FM Dunedin. 2013 was another huge year for More FM Dunedin. A year when the More FM Dunedin team made an unprecedented contribution to our community. That's right, wait for the queue, wait for the queue, Kerry. Services to broadcasting. Now to a very special award which draws nominees from a range of disciplines services to broadcasting. This award recognises broadcasters who have made an enormous contribution to radio in New Zealand over the years. We have three of these awards tonight for deserving recipients and we'll be doing a kind of mini potted This Is Your Life, so see if you can guess who they are as we start to read out the details of their careers. Are they, if someone gets it early, are they allowed to yell out who it is? No. Okay. No, they can just sit there looking smug. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just know for yourself that you got it. You're awesome. Okay, over the years, New Zealand Radio has produced certain individuals who have devoted themselves to providing vibrant radio stations and smaller regional communities. Oh, okay, you can shout it out if you guess. One of these <laughs> is a South Islander, so that narrows it down. He's the managing director of Port FM in Timaru, and it's... <laughs> Too easy? Anyone? Any I'm working with radio people here. Um, it's a cluster of stations across the central South Island. He has been a consistently forthright advocate for the relevance of local radio stations, backed up by a strong commitment to the playing of New Zealand music. Now, with more than 35 years as an industry leader, he remains as passionate as ever in keeping his radio stations innovative and relevant. Ladies and gentlemen, a deserved recipient of the first Services to Broadcasting Award is 
Brent Birchfield. Back to our categories now, and our next award, Best Promotion of a Radio Station. That celebrates the skill and effort behind the best radio promotions. And you've given your all, darling, haven't you, over the years, my word? It's a tough job, Kerry. <laughs> this year we saw a few new categories added to Best Promotion, so as to recognise the digital success of clients and stations alike. These categories are sponsored by Reaction Screen Print. Thank you, Reaction Screen Print. And first up, we have Best Network Radio Station Promotion. And the finalists are... Jace and Dave's Bumper Boat Bonanza, the Classic Hits Network. Well, that is classic hits as was, now known as the hits. Uh, the Edge Guinness World Record Skinny Dip. Sorry, got a little bit excited. Sorry, sorry. I'm meant to be bi unbiased tonight. Good and on this, you guys. Good luck. This looks like an unholy alliance. Justin Bieber, The Rock Network. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got a hole in my script. <laughs> You've the got a hole is. in your script because any that The Edge are nominated for, you can't know who the winner is. Oh. See? So See, when I she said you guys, she didn't I've been hassled all fucking week. Do you know who's won? Do you know who's won? And I'm like, no, I don't. Honest. No one believe me. Okay. Well, I do not lie. Okay. So it's up to me to tell you who the winner is. The winner is Jason Dave's Bumper Boat Bonanza. Ben Humphrey, Leanne Hutchinson, Jason Winstanley, Jason Gunn, Dave Fitzgerald, Sharon Amatiti, the Classic Hits Network. I think it's important that we that we give off a certain confidence when we go into the team. All right, how are you going to do that? I've no idea. Oh, Lord, and to show that indeed JJ is unbiased, she said that's a promotion you'd love to have been involved with. I must say, I did. Is my boss here? But no, you, I did say that's a fucking good idea. <laughs> but <laughs> you probably great. well done. Congratulations, guys. You probably couldn't have got naked in the boat. You've been terribly sunburned. No, I'm not okay. actually. I'm not really that keen on getting naked. It just happens. It's accidental. Officer, truly. <laughs> um, right. The best single market radio station promotion and the finalists are More FM Kids Choose a Wedding, 93.2 More FM Taranaki. Living with AJ, Chloe, and Andy Ellis. And do you want to announce this winner, seeing as I got the other one? Oh, Go okay. On. Oh, this is exciting. The winner is Living With AJ, Chloe and Andy Ellis. Classic hits that broadcast, 10,000 you could win. All you got to do is take these three people in. AJ, Chloe and Andy Ellis. And now, best direct client campaign, and the finalists are Fiji Airways Mid Air Matrimony More FM Network. <laughs> Hell Pizza Zombies from Hell Launch ZM Hodaki and Flavor Network. And when I was a lonely spinster at 33, I should have come to see you to see if you could hook me up. Same sex wedding, the Edge Network. <laughs> I did not know you were gay. I can be. <laughs> you know what Mike Perot said. And I've got another hole in my script, so can you please announce the winner? <laughs> okay, you might like this one. The winner is Same Sex Wedding, Leon Rapp, Peter Roberts, what the Edge Network. The seats look pretty, um, other people look pretty, uh, and we, we're ready to go, so we'll just see what happens. Hey, Dom. Oh, times like this, I wish I was gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's hot. Who, which one? That one. The one on the left or the right? The one in the blue jacket. Oh, narrow it down. <laughs> Next up, They're both best... quite good kisses, though. Yeah. Next up, best promotional trailer, and the finalists are... 
Classic Hits 12 Days of Christmas, Classic Hits Network. I've read it before, but it still feels wrong saying it. Justin Bieber, The Rock <laughs> Network. And Real Music, The Rock Network. Thank God. And the winner is Justin Bieber, The Rock Network. Justin Bieber, New Zealand, Believe Tour. Hey, New Zealand, this is Justin Bieber. As somebody from the Rock, are you wearing the the fake tuxedo, the all-in-one, is it a onesie tuxedo that somebody's wearing? Oh, it's, oh God, it's terrible. Right, <laughs> um, mind you, can I just say how gorgeous everybody's looking? They say radio is an industry for fuglies or people too old for television, but tonight everybody is looking absolutely gorgeous. So congratulations for making the effort and we hope you're doing the same in the provinces. There you are. It looks magnificent. There wow. we go. Nice it? little tuxedo. You see, people are Ooh. dressing up for the radio awards again. Not bad. The best agency client campaign, and the finalists are Telecom Free Wi Fi Summer ZM Network, <laughs> the Tui Lager Summer Simulator, the Hodaki Network. And Telecom will be happy they sponsored two finalists in this award. The Telecom Prepaid presents the social games, The Edge Network. And once again, can you fill my hole, please? I wouldn't be the first, JJ, but I'm happy to. The winner is Telecom Free Wi-Fi Summer, Sarah Catron, Michaela Pickworth and Charlotte Gilbert, ZM Network. To go home, all of my change I spent on you. Next, best multi station agency client campaign, and the finalists are Going Digital, OMD Wellington, <laughs> Drive Social, OMD Wellington. What do you care? Local body election, Saatchi and Saatchi, Auckland. And the winner is... What do you care? Local body election, Saatchi and Saatchi, Auckland. We created a partnership with the EEC to make local elections relevant to the youth, a group who are typically challenging to engage with. We used an interactive platform to highlight a range of relevant issues that local government regularly deal with. And um, we'd like to acknowledge Tim Dixon from Saatchi and Saatchi, who is in the audience tonight here. With anyone, where is he? Tim? Hey, congratulations, Tim! Thank you for coming. He's going to find the rest of these awards really fucking boring now. <laughs> uh, no, it's, no, be good, be good. Oh, yeah, um, best client digital promotion or campaign? And the finalists are... Telecom presents the Edge Social Games. What do you care, multi station? That's everyone. <laughs> Corporate Traveller Office Manager of the Year, the Radio Network. <laughs> I need to um, fill your hole again, don't yeah, I? You do. Yes, yeah, I thanks do. For that. <laughs> and the winner is Telecom presents the Edge Social Games. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Rob Dickey came up from Palmerston North for this special night. He quit radio to get into floristry or some shit, and now he's, uh, he's back for this evening. He misses radio, I can tell. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Last for this category, best station digital promotion or campaign, the way of the future, the finalists star. iHeartRadio launch, Lord Concert, iHeartRadio National. <laughs> This might be a good time to let Lord know that there are more than five radio stations in New Zealand. <laughs> We've got about a thousand in this room anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, you might like this one. JJ, Mike and Dom, wreck, Wrecking Ball, the Air Jorkland. And oh, there's some tough competition for this.
this one. Bring Beyonce to New Zealand, the Edge Network. Oh! Who is it? Who do you think? Who? The winner is JJ, Mike and Dom, we're breaking ball. JJ Feeney, Mike Bono, Dom Harvey, Sophie Hallwright, Carl Thompson, Michael Food, The Edge. Sweet Lord, what is seen cannot be unseen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who about would have that. thought you could make Miley Cyrus look classy? <laughs> <laughs> but the amazing thing, tell them what happened in Sweden. What well, happened? Oh, it's like it's been seen by 2.3 million people on YouTube. It's outrageous, like how many people have seen the video. And I was um, in Europe over the holidays. My first time in Europe, by the way. And this girl from Sweden came up to us, just randomly, and she heard our accents and just recognised us from this video. And it was fucking <laughs> crazy. It was. It was so probably crazy. because you were naked, apart from your snow boots as well. That's yeah, that's true. I was. And, okay. yeah. <clears throat> now, have you got any anyway. tweets? Because my little thing's still going round and round and nothing's happening. Nothing's happening on the tweets? No. No, I no one's tweeting. Tweets. Radio Awards is the keyword to send to 3343 or you can hashtag Radio Awards. I know that there are tweets, but they're just not coming through to my iPad as much well, as I stroke it. Well, have a look. We'll, we'll Normally answer, I get oh, a well, much better look, response. Hang on, I've got one, I've got one. <clears throat> Good Nothing's luck to those out. who are up for an award tonight at the New Zealand Radio Awards from Word of Mouth. At Word of Mouth. Have you got anything else? No, I'm still stroking. No, okay. No, this must be broken. Up. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, he's, no, he's been sending them through. Here's one and it's from at Dom Harvey. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> New Zealand Radio Awards, it's just like the Oscars. If the Oscars were held in a small attic upstairs at the Kodak Theatre. <laughs> and one here from um, MediaWorks Otago, a text, JJ, show us your cleavage. <laughs> It's a neater, eh? They just don't get out much. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a private pic, guys. All right, keep them coming because at least JJ's getting them. So, yeah, uh, don't be shy. Right. A very special award now. Services. Oh, come on! Jesus! I don't have the most technologically aware producer in the world, it is fair to say. <laughs> However, you could drive a fucking truck through that. <laughs> just lift your game, doll. Like services to broadcast. Well, I'm just saying. To the second Services to Broadcasting Awards. Uh, once again, we are recognising broadcasters who have made an enormous contribution to radio in New Zealand over the years. It's not often a broadcasting technician moves from twirling buttons and running outside broadcast to account manager, but this person did and became one of the most successful salespeople in the area. He is currently in his 49th radio year, oh. now as part of the MediaWorks Wellington operation. He's built an enviable record, not only for his sales success, but also for what one colleague describes as his incredible loyalty and someone who will walk over broken glass for his colleagues. He brings the same approach and commitment to dealing with radio clients. A treasure in radio, he is still going strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Services to Broadcasting Award is Errol Wilkinson. Our next category is Best Spoken Programs and it celebrates the best talk-based programs on the radio. Best Spoken Programs is sponsored by New Zealand On Air. First we have the Best Documentary or Feature Program and the finalists are... Mrs Parker, Ruth Barron and Gareth Watkins, Radio New Zealand National. Insight Documentary Sri Lanka, Jane Patterson, Radio New Zealand National. Tim Preble, 
Justin Gregory, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is Tim Preble and Justin Gregory from Radio New Zealand National. As soon as I put that on a screen, I just felt music. Our next award celebrates the best daily or weekly series under an hour duration. The finalists are Media Watch. Colin Peacock. If I if you win, can you not talk about me for a month, please, Media Watch? Colin Peacock, <laughs> Jeremy Rose, and Adelia Hallett, Radio New Zealand National. Oh, the music mix with Nick Atkinson. Nick Atkinson, Radio New Zealand National. <laughs> Our Changing World, Alison Balance, Veronica Maduna and Ruth Barron, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is the music mix with Nick Atkinson. Nick Atkinson, Radio New Zealand National. We produced 48 episodes of the music mix for Radio New Zealand National. We focused on location recording and we ditched interviews over the phone altogether. Very good show. Next up, best daily or weekly series, one hour or more. And the finalists are... Morning Report, Martin Gibson, Radio New Zealand National. Nine to noon, Catherine Ryan, Radio New Zealand National. And Saturday morning, Mark Cuby and Kim Hill, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is, and it is a fabulous institution of broadcasting, Morning Report, Martin Gibson, Radio New Zealand National. There have been two explosions at the finish line at the Boston Marathon. US correspondent Nick Harper joins us now. Nick, what do we know? We will remember. Um, Next we have Best Dramatic Production and the finalists are... Resistance, Duncan Smith, Radio New Zealand National. At least we have our jobs. Adam McCauley, Radio New Zealand National. And another entry from Adam McCauley, The Train Set, Adam McCauley, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is The Train Set, Adam McCauley, Radio New Zealand National. Sister says New Zealand used to have cannibals. Germany's full of them. You know why Thomas locked himself in the spare room last night with his train set? She'll miss our children as much as I'll miss her. Thank you. That was dramatic. <laughs> and now to a new category. Best Children's Programme is sponsored by New Zealand On Air and gives recognition for excellence in radio programming and production for children. The finalists are... Weekend Storytime, Radio New Zealand National. Do they still have that? Hmm? The Weekend Storytime for kids. It's been going wow. forever. That is amazing. Uh, the Crazy Christmas Kids Show, News Talk ZB and Radio Sports. And that's the story, Coast Network. And the winner is the Crazy Christmas Kids Show! Good morning, welcome to the Crazy Christmas Kids Show on News Talk ZB with Frank and Jules, and it is a crazy morning. Oh, that's it. That was quick. <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> Best community access programs. 
Radio brings people together. It's a messenger, a way of getting communities to share the things that matter the most to them. Sorry, that was delicious. Just making everyone jealous who hasn't got one. Um, our next category, Best Community and Access Programs, is sponsored by New Zealand On Air, and it gives recognition to those who work outside mainstream radio to get their message across. First up, Best Spoken Informational English Language Program, and the finalists are... Ministry of Awful, John O'Corfe, or Corf, sorry, Plains FM Christchurch. <laughs> Uh, hashtag radio, Fid McAwesome, Sharice McAwesome and V8 Matty, <laughs> who can only come from the Waikato, Free <laughs> FM Waikato. And Sands Mandela Memorial Programme, Irvin Adams, Joy Adams, Planet FM Auckland. And the winner is... SANZ Mandela Memorial Program, Urban Adams and Joy Adams, Planet FM Auckland. Good evening, and Kia ora, New Zealand, Kia ora, South Africa, and good day, the Aussies. This is Gary Rensburg coming to you live on South Africa NZ Live, 104.6 FM. My clapometer. Um, <laughs> who's going to win by the end of the night? Welcome, it's lovely to have you here. Next up, best music program in any language, and the finalists are The World of Leopold Bloom presents Nelson Mandela and the music of South Africa, Leopold Bloom and Matt Budd, Fresh FM. Retrospect 60s Garage Punk Show, Phil Gray, Free FM 89.0 Waikato. New Zealand Music, Paul Ireland, Coast Access Radio 104.7 FM. And the winner is The World of Leopold Bloom presents Nelson Mandela and the Music of South Africa. Leopold Bloom and Matt Bud, Fresh FM. Um, good evening, I'm Kiora. And good afternoon, wherever you might be. This is Leopold Bloom, live in South Africa, of course. And you just heard there the rather, the rather marvellous Miriam McCaver. <laughs> just getting some tweets here. I've had a request. Oh, this is disgusting. I can't read this out. Fuck. I was, I was supposed to be moderated. I've got one from Hugh Sunday. I'd say JJ and Kerry need to get a room, but that's probably next survey's hit promotion. <laughs> oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. News Talk ZB in the Edge. Got a certain in bed together. freaky kind of ape meets zebra kind mm. of thing about it. Um, a tweet here from Clint Roberts at Kiora Clint who says, JJ, please motorboat Kerry for me. Love Clint. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be so. any interest. <laughs> so. We'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> um, and one more here from um, Dean Buchanan who oh. says, you are a very attractive man, Shusty. Hashtag Radio Awards. There's a certain theme running through the night, isn't there? I don't think they're going to get better as the night goes on. Now, we've got a big thing that I'm going to talk over, or are we going to... We've got the big boomy thing or not? OK, here we go, here we go. from you right now. Can we just have a quick hug? <laughs> okay, there you go. Wow. And that young people is Deep not something there. to do. The young broadcaster will be sitting there going, those tragic old times. I know, Jeez. sad. Just this get on with our mm. This is what you've got to live up to. Shit. Um, <laughs> it's sad. I don't think it'll be very <laughs> difficult for them, bless them. <laughs> right, our next okay. set of awards recognises the talents of radio's newest broadcasters, and your talents are scary. They seem to be better trained, more 
intelligent, better equipped to deal with the industry than I was when I started back in 1835. Um, now, th these awards celebrate and encourage the talents of those just starting out and who are all hungry for each and every one of our jobs. <laughs> Uh, BSD Broadcaster is sponsored by CPIT's New Zealand Broadcasting School. We have four different um, craft groups and an overall winner being chosen from the winners of each category. So first up is the award for Best New Broadcaster Air Personality. And the finalists are... Renee Pink, 92.2 More FM, Manawatu. Stephanie Monks from The Edge. And Dan Webby, The Rock Network. Ooh, I don't have a hole. Uh-huh. That's because you've got an edge thing. Oh. The winner is, and it may give you some comfort to know that this too is where I began my illustrious career in broadcasting, Palmerston North, Renee Pink, 92.2, Maury Fett, Manawa 2. You're sleeping in your parents' marital bed. Yeah, well, oh look, I was a poor student. I just took what I could get. Do you think about that? Because, oh man, no, I could No, I don't, oh, now oh. I am. <laughs> They also seem to be better looking than broadcasters were. They do. Mm. Look at her. I know. No. Whatever happened to Face for Radio? I know. Mm. Go on. Okay, next, best new broadcaster journalist, and the finalists are Adam Cooper, New Stop <laughs> ZB Network. <laughs> Shelley Na, Radio Live Christchurch. <laughs> and Lloyd Burr, Radio Live. Lloyd Burr, Radio Live Auckland. No one was injured when one of the new NH-90s was dealt a damaging blow by a lightning bolt, but it's left the pride of the Air Force's fleet in the hangar and out of action. Fantastic. That almost rivaled the Irvin and Joy Adams clap, I'd have to say. That was, was very it? close was it? in terms of clap. Right. And if we don't look like we're clapping, it's because we're exploding the mics. Every tech in the country is grinding their teeth as we clap next to the mic. So we'll Sorry, just have to no do more clapping. Speaking of techs, oh. the, it's quiet. Yeah, shush up the back. These are the guys that we call in the middle of the night because we have spilt coffee on our tables or we can't remember how to link a telephone call to live network. These are the guys who get woken at three in the morning. They are the unsung heroes of broadcasting. Until tonight, we will sing for them. Best new broadcaster, creative and technical, and the finalists are... Zoe May, MediaWorks Radio Taranaki. <laughs> Alex Martin, My FM, Kiwi FM, and the Breeze Network. Don't tell me you've got a hole. You've got a hole, haven't you? I actually haven't. They forgot to put a hole here. <laughs> the winner I'm is not looking. Alex Martin. No <laughs> you again. Go again. Oh, no clapping. No clapping. My cash tracks gives you a shot at instantly winning five hundred dollars. Call our cash. Next. <clears throat> These are really exciting awards, these ones being Best New Broadcaster. Just the newbies in the industry. Best New Broadcaster promotions, and the finalists are... Gracie Allen, The Edge, and More FM Waikato. Dan Peak, ZM Network. Michaela Pickworth, the Radio Network. I think we're going to get a loud cheer here. The winner is Dan Peake from ZM. <laughs> uh, 
the Deca sign that's become a national icon, and we are gonna light it up. Seven presents Sevens Wellington. This is a spectacular award, and I want you to give it the attention it deserves. This is the overall best new broadcaster. The best new broadcaster for the 2014 New Zealand Radio Awards is... Dan Peake. Congratulations. And now, for the last of our Services to Broadcasting Awards. Let's see if you can guess this one. The clues have been a little easy, I think it's fair to say. Right. The use of the description icon can never be overused, but few better fit that title than this Wellingtonian. That was the first clue. Oh, taxi. Uh -oh. Uh, he started... <laughs> Northland. Second. <laughs> uh, three rows back, second in from the right. Um, no. He started the sunset show. Can you hear down the back? Over the rain? That is loud, rain. <laughs> it is hosing down in Auckland. Wellington, I hope you're basking in a lovely sunlight, you know, twilight sunlight. Can, he, can you hear us still? I have no idea what they're saying, I can't hear them. <laughs> I think so. We'll just... They've got things on the screen, we'll just. It's a good idea. He started the sunset show on 2ZB in 1960. He later left the business for 17 years and then at a reunion broadcast 20 years on got such a taste for radio again that he came back to be a much loved Wellington host. He did much of his early broadcasting in music radio and once the ZBs moved to talk, he showed himself totally adept at that genre across a number of different day parts. His work was always marked by professionalism, a strong work, work ethic, warmth of personality, intelligence and generosity. A true giant of radio broadcasting. The recipient of this Services to Broadcasting Award is Justin Dufresne. Best Māori Language Broadcast celebrates the culture and language of Te Reo Māori and the, uh, the finalists are... Te Whitiki o Te Ki, uh, Wikitoria Day from MFM, who I think have travelled up to Tikuiti, is that right? Are you here from Tikuiti? Yep. And Te Reo o, o, uh, o Tūranga 2013, Walter Wash Tūranga FM. And the winner is, it was worth the petrol, Te Whitiki o Te Ki, Wikitoria Day, MFM. Ko te ia ki arere, ko te mita ki a tika, ko te reo ki a mani a poto, anta mari e e hua ma aura ki mai anō, ki te whitiki o te ki i tāta atau i whakāti ranga reo Māori i tēnei te tua rima o ngā rā. Love them or hate them, the best radio commercials get under your skin. They're memorable, they're effective. And they pay our wages, so That's we should true. be very grateful. We love um, the ads. Thank you to the sales teams and thank you to the commercial writers. Our next category, unless you get New Zealand on air funding, our next category, best radio commercials, celebrates the talent behind our radio ads. Sponsored by the Radio Bureau, this category has five separate awards. First up, best single commercial creative. Four finalists in this category, and they are... Woman, Chris Howden, The Radio Network. <laughs> Devil Burger, Got the Devil Inside, Alistair Barron, MediaWorks Radio Southland. <laughs> Tofu, Chris Howden, The Radio Network. 
Let there be Ronnie Mackey, the Radio Network. And the winner is Chris Howden, the Radio Network. Because man can't survive on tofu or Greek yogurt, which is light tofu, but runny. Jack Link's beef jerky, prime New Zealand meat, and plenty of great flavors. JJ. Sorry, I was just looking at a tweet that came in just randomly. JJ joke count. This is from Hugh Sunday. Poo one, tits two. <laughs> did I say a poo joke? Oh, I did. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try and keep it clean from here on in. Next up, best jingle or jingle package, and the finalists are... Busy, Ronnie Mackey, the Radio Network, Taranaki. Water in a box, Ronnie Mackey, the Radio Network. And I think they've been in this category every year since the Radio Awards began. Parts Connection, Steve Keats, Malcolm Smith, and Rick Music, Smith and Keats Music. Busy. Ronnie Mackey, the Radio Network, Taranaki. Working on the land makes me a pretty busy bloke. I'm sticking hands up, cows, bums, ain't no joke. I've had a busy day, a busy week. It's busy life. I've got busy kids, a busy dog, and a busy wife. Congratulations. Now for the best single commercial effectiveness. It can be as clever as all hell, but if it doesn't actually drive punters to buy the product, it's useless. The finalists are... Plowman's Bakery, Grow Your Own Sandwich, Lance Pennington, Christine Abbott, Nigel Foster, Simon Dixon, Below the Line, George Weston and Sale Street Studios. <laughs> Woo! No clapping. Let there be Ronnie Mackey and Stephen Spargo, the Radio Network Cohort. Run for your life, Alistair Barron, MediaWorks, Radio Auckland. And the winner is... Showing you don't need too many people to make an effective ad. Corn Evil, Run for Your Life, Alistair Barron, MediaWorks, Radio Auckland. Open this Friday at Spookers, strictly R16. Go to spookers.co.nz. Corn Evil. Run for your life! <laughs> Next is best commercial campaign effectiveness, and the finalists are. They can find you, Scott Armstrong, the radio network West Coast! <laughs> Man Needs Meat, Chris Howden, the radio network. And No Cowboys, Rushera, the Radio Network Orphans. And the winner is They Can Find You. Scott Armstrong, the Radio Network West Coast. I've disarmed the doorbell. That way of I G'day. Got a parcel for you. Grey Valley Couriers. <laughs> if you can find them, they can find you. Awesome. I'll take that as the out cue. Uh, last but not least, the best commercial voice talent. And the finalists are. Hey, <laughs> come at you. <laughs> that is a hireable voice. Yeah, that is definitely. I know. Uh, Schroeder Evans, MediaWorks Radio, Auckland. <laughs> Andy Faulkner, the Radio Network. Gerard Cronin, MediaWorks Radio Auckland. It's a winning row, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Gerard Cronin, MediaWorks Radio Auckland. On my left in the blue corner, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And on my right, Hi, boy. Calendar Girl. Let's get it on. <laughs> that music.
music because it scares me. Okay, you may not hear them on air, but they make their presence heard in a hundred other indispensable ways. Associated Craft is sponsored by RCS New Zealand Limited and the finalists are... Ariel Watson, Radio 1 XX. Senior planners, Jonathan Schaefer, Kenneth D'Souza, Tim Norman and Mara Morris, the Radio Bureau. And Rachel Langford. Yep, best cheer so far. The winner is, let's see if you can top it, Rachel Langford, MediaWorks Radio Edition. And now it's time to check back in at the radio school and see what's been going on lately. To me, radio is so much more than just a job, man. It's a passion, yeah? And I'm passionate about sharing the, the heart of radio with my students. You know what's really important? Ratings. 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 People who fill out ratings box. Ratings. 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 Definitely ratings. Sucking and ratings. Ratings are the be all and end all. The most important thing is who takes the first full page ad in the Sunday papers saying that you're number one. I thought we were number one. According to our ad. Aren't we number one? Yeah, we're number one. We're number one. The Rock is number one, baby. Number one. With people who have their cars as their profile pics on Facebook. We are actually number one with Rainbow Zen visitors. Let's just all be number one. You know? So are we number one? No, we're well off the base. You can be pretty sure that here at the Rura Radio School, the future of Rura Radio, because there's three hours, right? she's looking pretty bright. Please, one more time for JJ and Dom. Fantastic. Forward to seeing those pictures on Facebook there. Thank you so much. All right, tomorrow, 9 a.m., I want your ear checks on my desk by 9. If you're last, you're doing mid-dawn, so you don't want to do that. Don't forget, Lane Smith's going to be here tomorrow as well. He'll be teaching us how to pull the fader down on a caller so you always have the last word. It's genius. That's smart. All right, guys, thank you. Get out of here. Beautiful. You get that for me? Recorded the whole thing. Some gold in there. Tell you what, series two of the radio. In the bag. We're on my way back, mate. <laughs> I know a number of you spotted the ghost from Radio Awards Past <laughs> in the cameo on that particular. So just a gentle reminder, once the bar is open and we kick on and our inhibitions come off and our clothes stay on, that careers can be made or broken at Radio Awards events. And I just think it's timely that while the Piss Fairy is urging you to take off your jeans and urinate over the balcony, have the good fairy saying, do you want to be a cameo in future <laughs> appearing as the ghost of Radio Awards past? The answer is no, my young people, no. Keep it on, just remember, okay? But cheers to stables for featuring <laughs> and being some, well, we have fuck all else to do, I suppose, really. Um, <laughs> well, our next award, Best New Zealand mu uh, Produced Musical Programme, celebrates the language of music. And thank you very much to Radio New Zealand for sponsoring this category. And the finalists for Best Music Feature are... David Dallas, behind the scenes of Falling Into Place, Sam Wicks and Chris Keogh, Radio New Zealand National. Carmen, I am here, I am me. Gareth Watkins, Radio New Zealand Concert. Shapeshifter, Musical Chairs, Nick Atkinson and Ian Gordon, Radio New Zealand National. The Sampler, Nick Bollinger, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is Carmen, I am here, I am me, Gareth Watkins, Radio New Zealand Concert. 
were so many girls in one place, Wellington was the place. Because everybody came to Wellington, we used to call it the Queen City, not Auckland. We were the Queen City. And now to best recorded live music event, and the finalists are... Silver Scrolls 2013, Nick Atkinson and Andre Upston, Radio New Zealand National. Everything is Kapai. Tim Dodd, Andre Upston and Adrian Holle from Radio New Zealand Concert. And Hohepa, David McCaw, Daryl Stack and Chris Keogh, Radio New Zealand Concert. And the winner is Silver Scrolls 2013, Nick Atkinson and Andre Upston, Radio New Zealand National. And they slammed through the last 10 years of Silver Scroll winners, a big medley, kind of all cross genres and overlapping. So last year's winner, everything to me is played over the top of not many. technical production now and this celebrates the techs and their creative flair. First up is station imaging and the finalists are Joe Baxendale, The Sound Network. <laughs> Grant Brody, The Rock Network. Noisy little suckers, aren't they? And Karen Bell from the ZDM Network. And the winner is Grant Brody! Yeah. <laughs> and if we call you back, can you answer us? Justin Bieber is the tweeter. Do you instantly win the trip? TheRock.net.nz for more details. On oh, now. The Rock plays real music. I think the entire rock network has turned up to play tonight and lovely to have you with us. Next up, best commercial production. And the finalists are... Devil Burger, Got the Devil Inside, Chris Hurring, Media Works Radio. <laughs> Sims Pacific Metals, Scrap Radio Ad, Chris Hurring, Media Works Radio. <laughs> this is such a funny category. Because also Chris Hurring for Corn Evil Run for Your Life, Media Works Radio. And the winner is. <laughs> that's Eric for Chris Hurring, Devil Burger, Got the Devil Inside, Media Works Radio. Uh, next is um, Best Studio or Outside Broadcast Recording, and the finalists are... News Talk BC, Pat Brittenden, Josh Couch, Phil Guyon and Phil Yule, The Radio Network. <laughs> Lullaby Jock, Phil Bean to Radio New Zealand National. And... Mesa de Requiem by Giuseppe Verdi, NZSO Concert Live Broadcast, Adrian Holle, Radio New Zealand Concert. Here I was saying, you know, you had a lot to say there. I was I did. quite lucky that there was you, but now I'm going to say it. Off you go. That's the winner! <laughs> Our next award, just to note that if you go down that way, it takes you through the kitchen and the chefs are going to get really pissed off. So go around that way, if you can, if you can. Our next award celebrates the best radio website. And the finalists are... The Rock. <laughs> George FM. Oh, 
Mike Kay. Let's lift the roof. The winner is The Rock. Dorian yeah. Ovenovsky, Michael Baker, Ella Brocklesby. And now, to a special segment of the Radio Awards. We want to take a moment to remember those who have passed away over the last year. If you could just sit quietly for about 20 seconds to pay your respects while we read out the names of those who have contributed so much to our industry over the last year, but who are no longer with us. Brian Scott. Gordon Wicks. Alan Richards. Liz Andrews. Ken Gibson. Charles Martin. Paul Norris. John Matheson. John Blumsky. And Mike Oliver. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It takes more than just a great ad for a successful campaign. It also takes smart marketing and clever planning. And that's where our next category, Sales Team of the Year, comes in. These two categories are sponsored by MediaWorks Radio. First up, the finalists for Metropolitan Sales Team of the Year. Radio Tarana. MediaWorks Radio Auckland. The Radio Bureau. <laughs> okay, get out of your seats. The winner is MediaWorks Radio Auckland. tough market out there, enjoy it. You, the finalists have worked very hard to get in there and you've done incredibly well, so enjoy the win. <laughs> Next up. Next are the finalists for regional or provincial sales team of the year and the finalists are... MediaWorks Radio Tauranga. And making it the trifecta, MediaWorks Radio Nelson. And the winner is, hopefully watching online right now from the beautiful bay, MediaWorks Tauranga. And now to a very special award which draws nominees from a range of disciplines. It's the Outstanding Contribution to Radio, which is sponsored by the Radio Broadcasters Association. This premier award recognises a broadcaster whose efforts have really influenced and shaped the radio landscape. As this is one of the premier awards, Bill Francis, Chief Executive of the RBA, and the man who took me from skanky waitress Ho in Hamilton to broadcasting icon at Newstalk ZB <laughs> will present this award to the recipient. So please make your way up to receive this award once you have guessed who it is. He's such a good talent spotter, this Bill guy. <laughs> good on you. Deeply you. grateful. <laughs> okay, radio businesses in their ever-growing complexity need strength and knowledge in combating not only market forces but unforeseen events that have the potential to derail and harm a business. 
Yes, Bill? <laughs> He's still telling me Hang what on. to do. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot to show off the trophy that the person gets. Oh, yes. This is the trophy. Wow. <laughs> How fabulous are they? These are beautiful, beautiful trophies. So this is going to be what's uh, presented to our premier um, award winners. Wow, that's sexy as hell. Media Works Radio. It is sexy. Oh, you know what? Joel Little, you know, Lord's producer, he came in to our studio with a Grammy yesterday. Yes. And he said that they had to sign a waiver saying they're not allowed to do dick pics with it and stuff like that. So I is there such a waiver with this or <laughs> I can think we it's straddle close. it later? I think, anyone, I think anyone who dared to compare probably could afford to, but these are beautiful awards and they're highly sought after and this is what you'll collect if you're a Premier Award winner. Now here is our first result. Media Works Radio has been very fortunate to have an exceptional person who in her early days as CFO played a leading role in the mergers and acquisitions made by the company at that time. And then as CEO she steered Radio Works through the global financial crisis the devastation of the Christchurch earthquakes that severely affected their Christchurch operation and then a receivership. Through all this, she oversaw record ratings, a continuing strong revenue performance and the change of solid gold to the sound. I think you've already figured this out, that the recipient of the Outstanding Contribution Award goes to Belinda Mulgrew. <laughs> Surprise. So thank you so much for the recognition from the um, Radio Awards um, Committee. Um, I have to say that um, a lot of what we've achieved is very much thanks to the fantastic team at MediaWorks who do their absolute best every day. So this is for you. Thank you. So for those of you who receive um, a Premier Award, that's the way to do it, just like Belinda did. Classy, thanking everybody and brief. That was perfect. I think as a perfect. JJ? Uh, just looking at a uh, couple of the old tweets here. Oh, oh we've got one from Nate from uh, MyFM. Mm. Typical. Got any free CDs? <laughs> Excellent. So, our next category. Our next category, <laughs> I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Thanks. Um, our that, next no. category, Best Sports, celebrates all the drama and excitement that is Radio Sport. The finalists in our category, Best Sports Presenter or Commentator, know all about sport on and off the airwaves. The finalists are... Glenn Lama, Radio Live <laughs> Auckland. The wonderful, inimitable Peter Montgomery, News Talk ZB Network. Jason Pine, News Talk ZB and Radio Sport Network. Well, who else could it be? The winner is PJ Montgomery, News Talk ZB Network. Going to the first mark. It's Team New Zealand in front. Team New Zealand's going to get round the first mark, Rodney Adern. Next up, best individual sports journalist. And the finalists are Stephen Hewson, Radio New Zealand National. <laughs> Katarina Williams from Radio Live Auckland. <laughs> And just as loud, please, the winner is Stephen Hewson, Radio New Zealand National. Add to that internal conflict within the New Zealand cricket hierarchy, and it all suggests a sport in crisis. 
Next up, best sports story or event, and the finalists are? Oh, yes. America's Cup heartbreaker, oh, oh, Radio Live Sports Team Auckland. Reliving those moments. The Spates Coast to Coast Longest Day, Brian Ashby and Tim Dyer from New Sports and And the 2013 America's Cup, Peter Montgomery, Newstalk ZB and the Radio Sport Network. And the winner is the 2013 America's Cup, Peter Montgomery, Newstalk ZB and Radio Sport Network. These boats are big, powerful, very hard to handle and they're right on the edge and we could expect anything to happen. Well done. Our next category celebrates radio's best newsmakers and breakers. An eye for a story, the ability to stay cool no matter what. Just some of the qualities required in our next category, best news, sponsored by Radio New Zealand. First up, best newsreader. And the finalists are... Bernadine Oliver Kirby, News Talk ZB Network. Nicola Wright, Radio New Zealand National. Hilary Barry, Radio Live, Auckland. <laughs> and the winner is, unable to be here because she's so freaking good, she does it morning and night. It's Hilary Barry, Radio Live, Auckland. Glenn Brown's a fair, but can he still be mayor? Rising flood waters threaten Whanganui, and in sport, Jonathan Paget's horse fails a drugs test. Next up, best team coverage of a news story, and the finalists are Rua Tanifa Dam, Radio New Zealand National. Seddon, Radio New Zealand National. And Cook Strait Earthquakes, News Talk ZB Network. And the winner is Cook Strait Earthquakes. Yeah. Keep up with News Talk ZB News covering the major shake in Cook Strait. Civic Square in Wellington closed after a 6.5 earthquake. Oh, well done, team. Our next award is Individual Radio Journalist of the Year. And the finalists are... Zachary Kerr, Radio Live, Auckland. Peter Fowler, Radio New Zealand National. And Ian Telfer, Radio New Zealand National. And the winner is... Peter Fowler, Radio New Zealand National. A government-appointed board will consider a resource consent application to allow an increase in the amount of nitrogen entering the Tukituki River. We now come to the second of our outstanding contribution to radio awards. Again, this premier award recognises the highest quality work by an exceptional individual in our industry and is sponsored by the Radio Broadcasters Association. Bill Francis will present this premier award. And once you know who you are, please start making your way up to the stage. The programming successes for the radio network over the past couple of decades owe a great deal to the leadership and direction of one person. The arrival of stations like The Coast, flavour and the vast networking of a number of brands <laughs> can also be sheeted home to this person. And <laughs> in addition to the development of programme and marketing strategies and the promotion and growth of some of radio's best known music radio stars. This person grew these leadership skills <laughs> from an early life as an announcer, then a programmer, 
a marketing manager and eventually to TRN's director of content. And while those skills seem to be enough to last a radio career, not content to rest on his laurels, he now brings his innovative skills to the development of iHeartRadio. He guessed it, you guessed it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of this outstanding contribution to Radio Award is David Bryce. Unexpected surprise. I think I'll break all the rules that I've just spent the last 20 years and go on for half an hour, <laughs> starting off from uh, 1974 when I first started in Wellington. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I thought for a moment you had one of the scary pictures of me from my on air days with the curly Leo Sayer hair up there. I was really? having really? a slight apoplexy. Hey, um, I guess the proof of the pudding in, in this whole adventure for me in radio is. I would do it all again in a heartbeat. Even on a bad day, radio is a great business to be in. Also, all through those years, even the bad people, the stables, have been good <laughs> in some way or another. And it is that passion, passion and energy that you all bring to the job every day that makes this the fantastic business that it is. Thank you for the recognition. I'm really overcome. Cheers, guys. Thanks, thanks. Award Best Programmer of the Year. Oh, and there are bragging rights for this one. <laughs> Bill Francis will stay with us to present this award to the deserving recipient. Now these guys are so good that we have four finalists this year, and they are Ian Avery, The Breeze Network. <laughs> Dallas Gurney, News Talk ZB and Radio Sport Network. Brad King, The Rock Network. Craig Body, The Breeze, Wellington. And you have no idea how much pleasure it gives me to say the winner is Dallas Gurney, News Talk ZB and Radio Sport Network. This is News Talk ZB News. The number one sailing commentator in the world by country. So Australia has got themselves, uh, got themselves a new government over the weekend, a new Prime Minister, of course. so good to be up on a uh, stage at the Radio Awards again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And congratulations to all the organisers for making this happen, because it's been a long time coming and we, I was about to swear, deserve it. Um, uh, just thank you to my wife, I got married on the 1st of March this year, and um, I think most programmers in the room know that um, that uh, you need, you sometimes have a bit of trouble uh, keeping uh, uh, balance and uh, Donna certainly helped me with that uh, over the last couple of years so thanks Donna, love you to bits. Um, and to my amazing staff at Newstalk ZB and, and Radio Sport, a programmer is only as good as the broadcasters that work for them and um, I'm very blessed to have the best. Thank you. Tonight, oh, we have a new, a new intro, sorry, I'll just wait for this. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought we were going to have the whiz-bang noise, apologies. Uh, tonight at the New Zealand Radio Awards, we introduced two new categories that honour radio greats from the past. I had the very, very great privilege to work with Kevin Black a million years ago on 89X, when it was in its death throes, <laughs> and the best thing about working with, uh, at 89X was the opportunity to work with Kevin Black, who was 
extraordinary, a radio figure of immense presence and fun. He was witty, he was outrageous, he was hardworking, and he was an absolute gentleman. He epitomised what we all love about radio, connecting with the audience in a way that entertains and that makes people laugh, and he was generous in his knowledge and bringing up new people within the industry. He always had a joke for me in the kitchen every morning at about 5.15. But he had an exercise book <laughs> full of them. There were like 50 exercise books yeah, full of I them. I didn't have the heart to tell him I'd heard it before, but anyway. Um, but it is appropriate now that this award, known as the Blackie, celebrates a golden moment of radio. And to present this inaugural award, we are delighted to welcome onto the stage Kevin's wife, Kristen Black. And the finalists are Robert and Jono, the, uh, the Sun Royal Baby Wind Up, the Rock Network. <laughs> JJ, Mike, and Dom, Rick, Wrecking Ball, the Edge. Radio New Zealand, the coup of 1969, Radio New Zealand National. And you've got a new piece of artwork to add to the home, JJ. The winner is JJ, Mike and Don Rick looking for the Edge Network. Come on up, guys. Oh, my God. No, I'm bringing you closer No, I'm molesting your dirty chain. And I'm wearing boots for safety. Oh, my God. Photo, photo, photo. Yes, photo. Do we have any music? I know we're a radio awards show. Do we have some like, music we can play under, or should we just hum? <laughs> Sing I'm Happy, or Here we are. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so cool. <laughs> Hello. Wow, I'm, out of all the um, possible awards, I'm probably most stoked to win this one. Uh, Kevin Black was first, firstly the uh, guy that inspired me to get into radio when I was 14. A mate of mine on a sports exchange had one of um, Blackie's um, wind-up calls cassette tapes, and he played that, and that was uh, that sort of sparked my interest in radio. Later on, he became uh, sort of a friend and a mentor, and um, he was just, just a, a, a beautiful human being. A fantastic man, and I got a lot from him, and uh, I'm stoked to win this award. This is, this is awesome. You guys? And I just want to say special thanks to um, Leon and the team that helped us make it. Uh, thank you so much. It's been a blast. And as you said, Tom, such an honour to be up here. First award for me, and uh, this is it. So quite an honour. So thank you. Cheers. Yeah. I know I've talked a lot, but I just want to say Leon and Augusto made that video. He's the best TV producer or whatever in the world. I love him to bits. And it's one of the most proudest things I'm, the things I'm most proud of out of our whole career. It was such a fun thing to do. <laughs> I guess, anyway, sorry, a special place in my heart, that video. Thank you. No, no good for you. Uh, Jay <laughs> <laughs> I think they came out wrong. I mean, anyway. Healing the broken hearts of the people of Christchurch is mine, but uh, you know, do whatever. Um. <laughs> One of them! Anyway. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I would love to have done that, and in fact, I freaking would have 20 years ago, so just be grateful I, you know, tempered over the years. Speaking of which, Air Personality of the Year. Uh, we love them and we rate them. Each ear personality has their own style and approach and radio would be far poorer without them. Well, far richer, given how much they charge. Um, <laughs> sponsored by TNS, these seven separate awards celebrate the diverse talents of New Zealand's best-loved ear personalities. And first up is Best Music Host or Host Provincial and the finalists are... Bevan for Breakfast, More FM, Gisborne and Whitehall. <laughs> The Andrew Leotoa Breakfast Show from 93.6 More FM, Taupo. And Breakfast with Lance, Times FM, Orewa. And the winner is... 
the Andrew Leotor Breakfast Show from More FM Taupoa. This morning, the planet experienced a morning show like no other. The Andrew Leotor Breakfast Show. Chris Mitchell running the lengths of New Zealand while well, he's doing it uh, as a charity run. And they are rock stars in their communities. Yeah. Every, every breakfast show host in their community is an absolute star. Our next award is for best music, non-breakfast host or hosts regional. The finalists are... The Drive Home with Blair from More FM Nelson. <laughs> Neil Collins, 10 to 2 announcer, Radio Dunedin. Justin Evans, More FM Drive, More FM Manawatu. And the winner is Blair Kitty, the drive home with Blair, More FM Nelson. <laughs> Look at Blair. You can tell he's never been to this club before. Hey everyone, it's all right, I'm here. I call this one the Flying Saucer. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, next is Best Music Breakfast Show Regional, and here are the finalists. Callum and P, Classic Hits Dunedin. <laughs> Will and Bridget in the morning from Classic Hits Tauranga. <laughs> and Mike West in the morning with Gareth and Renee. More at their Manawatu. And the winner is Mike West in the morning with Gareth and Renee for FM Manuatu. That would just turn your undies a different colour. I would do, <laughs> believe me, I'd wash them. Yeah. <laughs> Mike West in the morning with Gareth and Renee. Congratulations. Now we get to the Premier Awards for Air Personality of the Year. And we'd like to welcome to the stage to present the next four awards. Jason Shoebridge, Managing Director of TNS, the sponsor of the Air Personality Categories. Right. Hi, Jay. So as we announce the winner of each of these categories, make your way to the stage and a few brief words, and then the bar will be open. Yeah. <laughs> um, OK, first up, best talk or current affair host or host to all markets, and the finalists are... The Mike Hosking Breakfast News Talk ZB Network. Kim Hill Saturday morning, Radio New Zealand National. Another one who appears in every single year. Yeah. And he's a newbie, but he's already a finalist. Drive with Duncan Garner, Radio Live Auckland. And the winner is, remember, please make your way up to the stage, the Mike Hosking Breakfast from News Dogs ZB. This is News Talk ZB Breaking News. Yes, if you're just joining us, uh, there's been a couple of explosions at the Boston Marathon, uh, one either side of the road, about a mile from the finish line. This is another one who has to um, work oh, both ends of the day to make ends meet. He's half as late, so yeah, that's right. Yeah, what's the time? Oh, he's in makeup right now. He's in makeup. Sorry about that. But Emily Wynn Stanley is producer. Oh, someone's coming up. And Glenn, who's as much a feature of the show as Mike, are uh, up here to accept it. Um, we're definitely not Mike Hosking, this is Glenn who is the executive um, technical producer and I'm Mike's producer um, and he couldn't be here today because he's so good at radio that he's fixing a TV programme at the moment. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I guess I'd just like to say thank you so much to the ZB team, we work with an amazing team and it's a pleasure every single day to, um, to come to work um, and so thank you to everyone who works there. Um, yeah, it's really weird that he is not here uh, because uh, anybody who knows Mike as well as we do knows that the guy loves social gatherings. <laughs> um, so I am really confused about that. Uh, but I guess he's on his way, probably. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks very much, guys. And um, yeah, I think he deserves it.
first award is for best music non-breakfast host or host Metropolitan, and the finalists are. Um, is it? Is, is it? it? Am I wrong? Sorry, mm. I skip a page. Are we on page seventy-six of the hymn book? <laughs> we well, are on page seventy. I don't have seventy-six. Okay. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> I'm missing a page. Why am I missing a page? I don't know, because it's all about us, quite what frankly. Maybe they thought you'd be bored with all the news talk ZB yeah, stuff. Yeah, anyway, yeah. next up, best talkback hosts or hosts all market. And the finalists are, do you want to have a punt? Do you want to guess? Um, no, talkback hosts all no, market. You just have a okay, hang on. Larry Williams? Close. Danny Watson Afternoons, oh. news talk ZB. <laughs> Honestly. Squint and they're interchangeable, I swear. Sorry. Kerry Woodham. No, wrong. Oh, okay. No. Can Canterbury Mornings with Chris Lynch. New Salt ZB Pastor. Okay, I've got this one. Ewing Stevens. No, but you could have said Kerry Woodham because I fill in from so freaking often I feel like I own half the show. Okay. The Leighton Smith Show, New Salt ZB Network. <laughs> and again. It gives me pleasure so enormous I can barely contain it. The Leighton Smith Show. Leighton Smith, New Stock ZB Network, and the gorgeous Carol Laney, his producer. We handed to the leftists, the socialists, the people who think that, that everybody else should take care of. The people who think that it takes a village to raise a child and not a parent or a home or a family. Oh, that voice, Leighton, I swear to God. Swear to God, that voice. You're the best fill in host on the planet. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I demand you. Behind the microphone, speaking of behind, that was from the, that was from the cover of the best selling book, Beyond the Microphone. <laughs> After the show tonight, I'm giving copies away <laughs> for free. Autographs are $200. <laughs> Signings are compulsory. Um, very quickly, uh, when, I, when I first moved to New Zealand uh, about three lifetimes ago, um, I, I came for a year. Apart from a very brief break back in Australia in, in 2005, sorry, in 1985, I've been here ever since. I ain't never going back. What I found here was an attitude to radio that didn't exist in Australia. All it has ever done is get better. Jane, you've been there two years at the top. You've just been promoted. We won't let you go. But fix the Herald, please. <laughs> Dallas Gurney, you won the award tonight for the best, uh, the best programmer. Quite frankly, you are the best programmer of every year. Finally, to the best producer on the planet, 26 years of punishment with me. She is so good that I married her, <laughs> just so she could never get away. Thank you, darling. I love you too. Come on, give me a I'll get a clip round the ears, Carolyn Leaney Smith. Oh, yeah. And I've left big red lip marks all over your cheek. Sorry, darling. <laughs> okay, so I'm up to page 77 now, is that right? That's right. Okay, uh, the next award is for best music, non-breakfast host or hosts, Metropolitan, and the finalists are... Let's hear you, lads. Robert and Jono, The Rock Network. <laughs> Stephanie Monks, Martin Hehevar, and Oscar Jackson, The Edge Night Show, The Edge Network. And Estelle Clifford, Classic Hits Night Show, The Classic Hits Network. And the winner is Robert and John O, The Rock Network. Oh, the royal baby's about to be born. I hope when they tie the umbilical cord they use a Windsor knot, bird. 
Windsor. Well, I stand up here humbled after 10 years with Jono. This is our swan song. I think it's our fifth. Brad might have to confirm that. But six. Sixth. <laughs> six out of 10 is not bad. And a very good friend suggested it'd be nice to go out with a bang. Nicky, it'd be nice to think there's a bit more bang left in this bucket. Thank you. I stand here on behalf of Jono, who's the talent in this team. He's not here because Brad's still making him work hard with his new partner. Thank you to The Rock, the best team there is, most definitely in this country, when it comes to music radio. And Ricardo Ball and Dan Webby too, thank you. And last but not least, best music breakfast show, Metropolitan. Let's meet the finalists. The Morning Rumble, The Rock Network. <laughs> the Edge Breakfast with JJ, Mike and Don. <laughs> breakfast with Cy si and Gary, more FM Canterbury. And the winners are <laughs> The Edge Breakfast of Jojo Mike and Dom. The Edge Breakfast. <laughs> just, just basically walked in one day when I was about to have a shower. Yeah. He goes, so cool. yeah, I think you should start you. using this. And it was deodorant. And you so think much. that was your sex education? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Where did you put <laughs> that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Where's my king? Um, just quickly before I forget, um, I just wanted to say thank you to all the markets around the country. You know, when you work in a breakfast show, it takes a huge team of people and all the markets watching online, thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, this has been a long time coming uh, for us and um, special thanks to Cooge and Sharon who work in the mornings doing news and also to Grant Brody. You know, it's a huge team that puts together a breakfast show. So just wanted to acknowledge those people. Thank you. But anyway, Carl and Sophie and uh, everybody else, honestly, thank you. I love doing radio. It's been a great blast. And uh, every day I wake up and I wonder what the hell's going to happen next. And of course, um, luckily for me, I've got to keep my clothes on most of the time. The music started, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but thank you to everybody and uh, to Leon and our, our management team as well. Cheers, guys. You, you provide great inspiration. There's no wrap-up music I checked. We've got all fucking day. Now, I've been doing this for a while, so I've got some shit to get off my chest. Because you don't know how often these things are going to come along. The Rock, we've been finalists with The Rock for like the last 27 years. So I've got some shit to get off. Um, first of all, I'm pleased that the uh, screens here are quite small. Um, I was bitching about it when I first got in, but I've actually got a wine stain there already. So I'm pleased that they're smaller than the screens in my lounge. Um, what else is there? Just saying. Pool party afterwards. It's heated to 32 degrees. Who's in? Um, secondly, uh, thanks to the awards committee uh, for putting this back on, especially for the, uh, the, you know, the younger and up-and-coming broadcasters in the room. Uh, we used to have these amazing ceremonies. They were fantastic. And for the last few years, it's been a little bit shit. Um, <laughs> but this is a really good start. It's a step in the right direction. Um, thirdly, thanks very much to our inspirational leader, uh, Alex Ferguson. He's uh, an absolute asshole, but we love him, Leon Rat. <laughs> And 
As Mike mentioned just a second ago, our wonderful producers, Sophie and Cal, they, they put up with a fair bit of shit, especially from Mike, difficult to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, and uh, yeah, thanks to these guys as well. We're a fantastic team and uh, it's wonderful. All right. Yeah, sorry. sorry, oh, is it? Serious about the pool party though, who's in? I think he's had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> It's okay, it's a great night and congratulations. Now to the last of the outstanding, outstanding contribution to radio awards. Um, again, recognising the highest quality work by an exceptional individual in our industry and it's sponsored by the Radio Broadcasters Association. So Bill Francis will once again present this award. So when you know who you are, make your way up. Few have made such an instant impact on radio as this person has. Coming to the game not as a callow youth, but as a seasoned, hardened adult. The recipient epitomises the criteria for this award, changing the way we view radio, and in this case, sports broadcasting. A strong clue there. His brash, loud, and often controversial way made us sit up and take notice of what was going on in sport by challenging administrators taking coaches to task and creating polarisation with callers. Not only that, he could sell snow to the Eskimos. Think wet and forget and biomag. He was a broadcaster that demanded attention, got it and over a tempestuous career managed as well to help many sports bodies and athletes that deserved a greater look in through media. He's also one of the kindest, softest, gentlest, loveliest men I know. The Outstanding Contribution Award goes to Murray Deeker. I'm just pleased, JJ, that you never took on sports broadcasting because it seems to me you've won every other bloody thing here tonight. <laughs> if you'd been in that, you'd have been difficult. I haven't had a real job for the last 23 years because I've just had a ball. I had a job before that. I was involved in school teaching and education for 21 years. I know what work is. This was not work. I think timing's everything, and I picked the right time to get out. And now I'm enjoying trying to become the best 13 handicapper in golf, catch the biggest snapper out there, and uh, as well as that, do a lot of international travelling. And all of those things are happening. For people who say to you, you won't enjoy retirement, i got news for them. It is absolutely fantastic. And it would not have been possible without broadcasting. I loved it. It was neat. And I'd like to thank all of those who supported me during that time. Cheers. And what Murray also wanted to say before he was overcome with emotion is thank you so much to my wife Sharon for supporting me throughout my long tempestuous career. Sharon, I love you. This one is Station of the Year. The Premier category has four separate awards celebrating all-round excellence in a radio station. And first up we've got the finalists for Iwi Station of the Year and, and they are... There are a lot of Iwi stations so it took quite a bit to get a find, to become a finalist here. Right. Tumaki FM 96.9. And MFM. <laughs> Sorry, that's all. And the winner is Tumaki FM 96.9. Iwa te ko mau no ta iwa. It's my station, no? It's your station. Ko Tumaki. 
And now to Station of the Year non-surveyed market, and the finalists are Radio Wanaka, Times FM. Oh, sorry, Times FM, Rodney. <laughs> sorry. And 93.6 More FM, Topo. And we know they're sitting around the. Uh, computer screen at the moment, watching on the internet, so well done. More FM Topo! Ask the question what you should never ever buy a woman for Christmas, you see, and, and we're eliminating uh, Christmas gifts, like frying pan. That's top on the list, uh, and don't get her a vacuum cleaner. I'm helping you guys out at the same time, you see. Congratulations, More FM Taupo. The finalists for Station of the Year surveyed market are... The Breeze Wellington. <laughs> 92.2 More FM Manawatu. And I think they're here tonight, More FM Northland. <laughs> yeah. And the winner is... The Breeze, Wellington. Russell Packer took a pedal on the sideline at the game and some people saw him wee-wee and his peepee -pee found some fame. And the fine was 15000 for not going to the loo. Imagine what it would have been if he'd done number two. Oh, Steve! <laughs> and last but not least, Station of the Year Network. And this is another one of our premier awards, so would like to invite the winner up to receive the award and it's going to be presented by Jill Stewart, General Manager of the Radio Bureau. And the finalists are... The Edge Network! <laughs> The voice of authority in radio, News Talk ZB Network. And our brothers, The Rock Network. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And I should be delighted for mates, but it, my happiness is tinged somewhat. The winner is The Edge Network. <laughs> is your summer hit music station. Oh, Come on, the edge, come up and save your moment on the stage. Come on. Yeah. Up yeah. you come. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll do. Right, yeah. that's good because I, I wasn't finished. <laughs> no, come on. It's actually good because I'm really shit at talking. So come on, come on, come on. No, come on. Hey, um, the edge has been going for almost 20 years. Come up, guys, honestly. And uh, we have never, ever won one of these. Rock have got like so many, they use them as toothpicks, it's unbelievable, but um, we've never won one. And there's so many amazing people that have uh, worked at the edge over the years, that I'd just like to acknowledge. Thanks man. And so many people that, talented people that work at the edge right now. So this is a fantastic evening for us, and thank you so much. Thank you everybody. It's awesome. And uh, cheers to past employees who had a hand in this, who we can't mention by name anymore. <clears throat> Just you young guys, look at your little ribbon thingies that you're wearing. Let's not mention Ian, Jason. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Gosh, that was exciting. <laughs> Is it really?
really, is it really the first time in 30 years? I've got to say, the Edge has been here around since 1994. I've been there the whole year, and we've never won that award. So well, it's, it's long a, overdue. Enjoy every exciting, minute of it. Thank well you done. So much. Um, our second year award is in the name of a radio great, is the Sir uh, Paul Holmes Broadcaster of the Year. And what an incredible man he was. I absolutely loved this man and I wasn't alone. He was absolutely one of the superb broadcasters and human beings. His career not only achieved excellence in his chosen field, but changed significantly how news and current affairs could be communicated in a much more accessible way. When I first started on Talkback as a I hadn't done on air before. He would ring on his way home from the Holmes show during commercial, you know, during my commercial breaks to tell me how fabulously I was doing, darling. <laughs> or he would guide me in the right direction, and I suddenly realised I'd been criticised and put right without even realising he'd done it. He was—he's always been incredibly generous to young broadcasters. In fact, he gave you your break by being so fucked off when you rang him. <laughs> <laughs> he was just the most extraordinarily generous and talented broadcaster. Yeah, he was. Uh, now, this award embraces all genres of radio, uh, recognising Paul's interest and passion for special talent in whatever sphere of radio they worked in. And we are very, very lucky tonight to welcome to the stage to present the Sir Paul Holmes Broadcaster of the Year Award, Paul's son, a young man he was extraordinarily proud of, Reuben Holmes. And now for the winner of this most prestigious, the most prestigious award is it's your night, baby. The Edge Breakfast with JJ, Mike, and Dom, the Edge Network. What? Just like I had a heart on for Blackie, um, Mike had the same sort of feelings for um, Holmesy, so I know this is going <laughs> to mean a lot to old mate here. Shit, what a surprise. I thought this... Oh, oh this is for people that are just wow, on the way out. So cool, <laughs> oh. Oh, so um, I, I guess it's, it's really hard to sum up into words how I'm feeling right now with the Blackie Award and the Paul Holmes Award. I mean, Paul was a fantastic broadcaster. When I was at TVNZ, he guided me as well. and. Um, to stand here in a room and be honoured with um, particularly two great legends and to have the uh, hall that we've had tonight is um, really something special, you know. We work in an amazing industry and I want everyone to remember that. When we get up every morning and go out into our bits and pieces, we should um, always remember those that have gone before us and remember that we all make a hell of a great living out of doing something that we love every single day with passion. So in the memory of the great broadcasters that have come before us, thank you, Paul, thank you, Blackie, and, and thank you to the radio industry for giving us great jobs, great careers, and um, a really good time. So um, on behalf of the Edge team and everybody that helps us out every morning, such an honour. Thank you so much. Here's to radio. Thank you, Mike. That was beautifully done. That Should was such a surprise. <laughs> that was really, that's really cool. It's just awesome to be recognised, and everyone that's won tonight will know that it's such a good feeling. So congratulations, no, I don't to everybody. Know that it's no. cool. <laughs> um, I imagine it's really cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is it like when you have that first hit of Bollinger? Is it, is it like that? Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah. Okay. So spill the swimming pool at your place with Bolly because yeah, it's I happening. think you deserve it. I'll warn it. the neighbours. 
a very warm congratulations to all our winners and indeed to the finalists because there's a hell of a lot of talent to cut through to even get into the finals of a category. And we want to say a very, very big thank you to the category sponsors. CPIT's New Zealand Broadcasting School. <laughs> Media Works Radio. New, Ze New Zealand On Air. The Radio Broadcasters Association. Radio New Zealand. RCS. Reaction Screen Print. TNS. The Radio Bureau and the Radio Network. <laughs> Putting a show like this together is a really big job with very many people involved, so thank you to everyone who helped make it happen, and you know who you are. Um, and uh, don't forget that all winners and finalists, your certificates will be sent out to you. Uh, I just got a tweet here from Hilary Barry. Um, she said, I seriously need to smuggle some bubbles into the three news studio, which is really cool. And uh, Ross Flayhive tweeted, I need to go wheeze, but I'm stuck at the back. <laughs> so, well, um, I'll tell you what, we'll yeah. let you do that. Wherever you were in New Zealand, we hope you enjoyed the show. We yeah. hope you enjoyed celebrating some of the finest talent in this wonderful, wonderful industry. So we'll see you all again next year and hopefully it will be as flash, if not flasher, as yeah. this time around because you've behaved yourselves impeccably, touch wood, thus far. Who's for the live show? <laughs> yes! Very cool. However, the bar is now open so that could all change. Enjoy yeah, your you. night. Good night. Thank you.